praise the Lord. Today we have entered the fourth day of Novena. And today's theme is call to leadership and service of humanity. Being a leader takes courage, discipline and determination. While a great leader can bring great success, it also comes at the cost of being judged and overwhelmed. Bible speaks of so many wonderful leaders and how God blessed them for their work. Galatians 6 9 says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Again, James 1 12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because being stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Now we have Father Irvin de Kuna to throw light on this topic. Father Irvin was with us for a short time for his ordinary internship. He was very energetic, vibrant brother, ready to cooperate in each and every program of our parish, thus learning in the process. He was a delight when he celebrated with the Catechism children and equally loved by all. His charming smile has left a mark on our hearts. We pray for him and all his future endeavors. Let us listen to him. Dear friends, greetings of peace and joy in the name of Jesus. Call to leadership at the service of humanity is the beautiful theme that we have chosen for today's novena which is most relevant for our current situation. Today, I would like to throw some light on the two words from today's theme, leadership and service. These both were part and parcel of Mary's entire life. In Luke chapter 1 verse 38, she says, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let it done to me according to your will, which means the Mary's leadership was a leadership of humility, openness, self-sacrificing, caring and loving, and dependency on God. Therefore she said, let your will be done. Jesus himself said, I am come into this world not to be served, but to serve. We have a beautiful instance in John chapter 2 verse 3, where Mother Mary says to Jesus, Son, you do something for them. Because there was a lack of wine. See the observing, caring nature of Mother Mary. She was at the service of her fellow brethren because she understood their pain, their need. We are, we all of us are getting prepared for the great feast. So today, let us ask ourselves, how can I inculcate these two qualities of Mother Mary in my life. Let us pray through the intercession of Mother Mary that we may always remain other-centered and remain at the service of God and our fellow brethren. May God bless us all. Thank you so much, Father Irvin, for your guidance and sure this is going to be a benefit for all in their spiritual journey. You can participate in the Holy Eucharistic Celebration at 6.45 p.m. at St. Mary's YouTube page every day. Thank you.